Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good morning. Thank you for the opportunity. Today I'm going to give a short presentation, a literature review on effect of probiotics in the treatment of cell implant mucositis. First, I will introduce our team, my supervisor, Professor Dr. Sri Oktawati, Prudentist Consultant from the Department of Prudentology Faculty of Dentistry, Hasanuddin University, Indonesia. And me, as a speaker, Umisal Nesari, from Prudentology Specialist Education Program, Dentistry of Faculty, Hasanuddin University, Makassar, Indonesia. Introduction. The loss of persons teeth can occur for many reasons, one of which is caused by periodontal disease, so it is necessary to provide alternatives to restore the existence of this teeth. Over time, the use of implant has become increasingly popular. However, often implant users do not realize of how important it is to maintain the heart of the tissue on the implant if the clean line and heart of the tissue is not maintained. Abnormalities or inflammation such as of their implant, mucositis can occur. <laughs> According to Selfie et al. report a prevalence of their implant mucositis of 43% ranging from 19% uh, to 55%. Typically, uh, the breathing of the implant surface and surrounding tissues perform to manage per implant mucositis. However, studies have shown that mechanical debridement when performed with Young probiotic therapy is more effective in managing peri-implant mucositis compared to mechanical debridement. Therefore, in this literature, we will discuss whether probiotics have an additive effect for oral hygiene, instruction, and mechanical treatment of peri-implant mucositis. Peri-implant mucositis is a reversible inflammatory reaction that occurs in the soft tissue surrounding the implant without a loss of alveolar bone. The presence of bleeding on probing with little probing for is considered a key parameter for diagnosing peri-implant mucosa with additional signs may include erythema, swelling, and pus. Treatment of pre-implant mucositis usually includes of oral hygiene, instruction, and mechanical development of biofilm and calculus. The clinical picture of pre-implant mucositis is in many respects similar to that of dental gingivitis. This condition includes plastic symptoms such as swelling, weakness, and bleeding on the implant of tissue probing. Can you see a picture uh, for figure one? Healthy implant, healthy per implant mucosa, and for figure two. This is a peri-implant mucositis. Several therapy for peri-implant mucositis. Professional interventional peri-implant mucositis therapy. Mechanical debridement and additional antimicrobial. Additional antimicrobial consists of antiseptic locally administered antibiotics and systemic antibiotics. Uh, the second, peri-implant mucositis therapy and oral hygiene, hygiene intervention, hygiene intervention for 
home use, a mechanical plug control, and a chemical plug control. Probiotics. Probiotics are microbes that come from the lactic acid bacteria group that works to maintain the host health. Probiotics can also be used to improve oral health. Probiotic bacteria can also form biofilms as a protective layer of the oral mucosa again of oral disease. Probiotics can also control the growth of pathogenic bacteria to prevent synthesis. Probiotics actually have a low pH so that bacteria cannot form dental plaque and calculus plaque that causes poor dental disease. Lactobacillus cerevisiae and Lactobacillus falciparius are the most commonly used probiotics in clinical practice, known as suppressors of bad cardiogenic and periodontal pathogens. Several clinical studies have focused their attention on the additive effect of periodontic on perinfant risk. Probiotic therapy. Uh, the literature on the use of probiotics in the management of implantable mucositis is increasing with studies consistently using two probiotic strains. The clinical and morphological effect of oral probiotic bacteria is as a defined for non physical therapy, where evaluated by Golfer et al., who use conventional mechanical prophylaxis with probiotics lactobacillus reiteri compared with non-surgical therapy plus placebo tablet over a 30-day period. During follow-up, the probiotic group saw significant overall improvement in clinical outcome, plus index, bedding on probing, and probing pocket depth reduction. Discussion. A recent systematic review concludes that a young use of lactobacillus literally results in a significant reduction in additional probing pocket depth and increase in additional clinical attachment and a reduction in bleeding on probing. Recently, a similar approach has been proposed for the treatment of mucositis lesion. However, some of the results in this study are controversial. Conclusion Probiotics as an adjunct to mechanical development in the treatment of pain-implant mucositis appear to be considered in providing clinical benefit in treating pain-implant mucositis and it can be concluded that scientific study evidence still needs to be added to support probiotics in very implant positive health. Thank you very much for the attention.